Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back again today on the Survival Let's Play server. This is episode two. Now I say server, but this is not really a server. Well, it is. It's being hosted on a server, but it really only has my um, camera account and myself for uh, on this server. So that way I could do some uh, time lapses and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's just me on this server, if you will. And if you recall last time, we made a nice farm. We got some of the animals, sheep and cows, and we have chickens in here. And this dude showed up. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we made a little base over yonder, and we're going to work on that some more today. First, I want to say, hey, if you're here and you like this series, you like what I'm doing, please click that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe. It only takes a moment. Finally, I want to tell you that I do stream on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash tinker77live. And you can get some updates and things from Twitter. And that is on also tinker77live. Okay, so for today, my plan for today is um, the last episode is called Back to Basics. And this one I'm going to call Extended Basic because um, we have to get some more stuff. I would like to get some pigs. I'd like to get all the various wood types. I'd like to get just the basic stuff that we need so we can build and do things that we want. Now, it's going to get dark here soon. So I'm just going to rip all this up and replant. And then we'll take some of these carrots and we'll go and get some, uh, some pigs and put them into our little pen over here. And maybe we'll... Uh, Guess I need to eat some carrots. <laughs> and then we'll get them together. So that's the plan for the day. Just get all the basic stuff going on. And then if we can, we're going to work some more on the little base and see if we can get it more secured and uh, that sort of thing. So right now, I'd like to get the pigs that are on this island over to here. But of course, it's going to get dark. So let me uh, wait for a few moments, sleep, and then we're going to get started. Two pigs. Let's see if we can get them to the base with a little bit of time lapse music. Here we are, and there they are. Okay, you guys want some carrots? Here, I'll give you a carrot. I'll give you a carrot. Very nice, and so, here we go. Let's get some more cows. We need more cows for um, some of the leather, so let's see if we can get that right now, and we'll do some sheep. Okay, there we go. So we got some uh, more stuff to do. All right, the next thing that I wanna do is I really want to start to go out and look for different types of wood. What we have so far is we definitely have spruce, we definitely have oak, and um, we have uh, birch. So we gotta try to find a jungle, uh, dark oak, and acacia. So I'm gonna start to put some of this stuff away, and then we're gonna start to head out and go see if we can find any wood. I've been traveling due west from my base, uh, using the boat when I can, just seeing what I can find, and I've been gathering up animals and things like that to uh, get some food, you know, because I don't need them. Um, so I might as well just kill them and get them. But I saw here, there's a jungle, and we're going to get some jungle wood here and get other jungle things. Hopefully we find some melons and stuff like that, which would be really, really cool. I'm going to go in a little bit and see what I can find now. I'm going to put the cordis up on the screen just for my reference. There we are. So I can see that now, and that way I can kind of like say, oh, okay, I know where to go. So, um, yeah, we're going to basically gonna be cutting down a lot of this jungle wood so we get the wood itself. But we're really looking for saplings. Okay, and then we'll probably get cocoa beans in this area. Um, also, if we can find any like bamboo, bamboo would be great because that's a very useful uh, thing to have. So we're gonna go over here and just look around, see if I can see anything. Um, it'd be great to find melons. You know, there's a lot of stuff in jungles that are just really good to have. So hopefully we can find something. Um, yeah, I just broke my ax. <laughs> and I, at least now I can make a crafting table. And we'll get some sticks and I get a, at least get a wood axe. I didn't bring any cobble with me. So that'll just have to do, huh? Sounds good. I think so. Okay, let's uh, see if I can find the other resources that I need from the jungle. I have found one sapling so far, but I also see the cocoa beans here. We're going to get that. And that way we can at least have that. We can grow that on our own jungle trees. I have to get more saplings, like I said. Um, but I also saw it looked like bamboo over there. Okay, let's go over here. I thought I saw a bamboo thing, and we gotta see if we can find a sapling and grow our own bamboo. Um, I think that's bamboo. Let's go check. I think it is. I think this is the bamboo. 
right? Sounds like bamboo. Okay. Now, did, it get, did I get some sort of sapling for it? I have a jungle sapling, but I do not see any type of bamboo sapling. So we're going to keep on looking around. There's some bamboo over there. See it up there? Nice big piece. I'm not sure if they have to do a certain way to get this or not. That's the question. Um, I think all you have to do is just hit it and break it like a normal tree. And eventually, you get bamboo sapling. That sounds so cool. So we got only got 18 there. Oh, we got some more here. So we got some, at least we got some bamboo, but I don't see any, any, uh, like the saplings yet. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep going around here. Oh, I think that's melons. <laughs> it's like <laughs> squirrel, not squirrel, melons. Awesome. So that's something else we wanted to get from a jungle. Good. So we still have to get a bamboo sapling and some more jungle saplings, and then and then we can move on. We can move on and try to see if we can find. Wow, is that really? Is that like lagged? Oh yeah, lag. That will happen occasionally because we are on a server. Okay, so let me go on. Try to find some more uh, jungle resources here. Awesome. I didn't know this, but uh, you can just plant that uh, regular bamboo and it makes the bamboo sapling. So we've got everything that we need here for this. So we're gonna head on out and see if we can find some other wood types. I shouldn't have cut there because coming right out of the jungle, I found, uh, looks like this, uh, root forest. So we have, uh, some of the dark oak, which is what we need. So I'm going to chop this down. Now there's not much else that we need from here. So I just got to make sure I get some saplings. This takes a little bit of time. You know how this goes. We're going to see about this one and, uh, then we'll move on. And the only other wood type we need is acacia. So I got to find some sort of, uh, savanna and, uh, that'll be good. I'm also looking for a nice desert that we can... Uh, take a lot of sand out of so that we can get uh, the resources we need for that. So, yep, we're moving on. We're doing pretty well getting some of the basics for this extended basic episode. From the jungle, I was heading uh, now southeast, and uh, I found some pumpkins. This is kind of good. We'll get those. And I was kind of going along and, like, again, killing animals that I see that I don't need to uh, have in my farm, so that way I can get some more food from them. And that's going really well. I just want to see what's this direction. I'm kind of, like, going in circles around kind of counterclockwise around my, my base area to see what's out here. Now, there's lots of, of these uh, wolves down here. Oh, there's some pigs. Get some pig meat. That's really good. So make some pork chops. So that's worked out really well. So like I said, I'm just running around. I'm still trying to find um, a savanna to make some get some acacia. I'm trying to find a desert. A mesa would be good to find, too. Um, but right now I just want to find the other wood types. So looks like we come to a hill. I'm going to have to start to climb up this thing and uh, see what happens. Okay, we'll be back in just a little bit. Coming out of a plains, I have found, looks like, a uh, savanna. And I think we can get some acacia here. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to try to get some acacia wood and some saplings from this. And then I think we have all of the basic wood types. We can have our own little tree farms. And do our own thing. That's fantastic because uh, we don't have to run around and go find this stuff anymore. Just have to wait for a sapling to drop. Now, I don't have a lot of space here. I can get rid of some seeds. Of course, my guy will probably pick that up. Let's go throw these away over here. <laughs> don't need that anymore. Probably don't need... What don't we need? Uh, probably don't need... Well, all the stuff I want. But the wood's probably the uh, like rotten flesh. There we go. So come on, give me a sapling so we can take it with us. That's what we need. There's one right there, and there's one right there. So we got two. Okay. And all oh, three. Awesome. Now I'm going to keep on going here, and I'm just going to see what circles around. See if I can find anything useful, like maybe a desert. Okay. And by the way, I gain sacks. Okay. Let me go see if I can find a desert. Well, I found a desert, but I think it's the smallest desert around. Look at this. That's it. It's like almost like a little beach, but I think I believe this is counts as a desert. Um, so we have a place to get some sand at least, some sandstone and cactus, and that's another resource we really should grab. We can grow that back at our base. Let me grab that. There we go. That's good. So I think what we're gonna do right now is since I got a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna return back to base and we're gonna work on that base a little bit to make those. Um, if you recall those little cubby holes that I made, make those a little better. So. See you that base in a minute. Okay, I am back at the base. I'm gonna put the bed down in here and we'll make this our point where we have our, uh, yeah, our bind point for here. What I wanna do here though, I, I don't like the placement of this. I want this wall 
What was that? Did you hear that sound? What's that? Anyway, I want this part, instead of being this, which is the enchanting area, I'd like this to be my storage area. I like to have lots of chests here and that sort of thing. So I am going to uh, take this out right now. We're going to put it over here. Now, if you recall, it's three deep. I'm going to go three deep on this wall. So we're going to build that out, and I'm going to move this thing, and then I'm going to build in some storage using some of the wood we have and make that other area kind of nice and neat and look like a storage system, okay? So I'll be right back, and hopefully you'll like what I build. So far, what I've done here, I've got all of my uh, storage moved up to here from the the prison, which is now gone. I, I bulldozed it. It's gone. And I got a super smelter going here, which is my typical design. And then on this back wall, I haven't started filling these up yet, but I have now have a uh, set for storage, which is great, and we can really use that. And then on the back side here, I have the enchanting station, which I did make another bookcase because we did have enough leather for that. Okay, for the books to make that. Anyway, what I want to do over here is I started to place out something here. I wanted to make some automatic um, pumpkin farms. So what we're going to have here, if you can imagine right here, will be a wall. It'll be glass so you can look into it. I want to put like a hopper here and make this look a little better, but this will be like a water uh, trough going over to a the hopper, which will feed this in here. Then we're going to have a layer of pumpkins, okay, or um, dirt with pumpkins on them. Then we need to have uh, pistons and observers, another layer, and then a layer of redstone behind it. So we're going to take out this wall a little bit more, and then I'm going to go get some glass and make everything look right, and hopefully uh, this will look okay. Now, for my design for... Um, block palace. I mean, I'm not very good at decorating as we know, but I've been trying to do better as we go here. And what I've done is I'm still using this, um, the spruce. And I took this out so I could get, get in here to see, get that, this angle here for this, uh, chest. But I'm using the, this, uh, spruce and I'm using some, uh, upside down stairs and some slabs. And then I'm using smooth stone. And I didn't know how to get this. It took me a little bit to figure it out. But basically it's just stone in a furnace and that makes smooth stone. So um, I know it's not looking great yet. I still got to take the ceiling up and do a lot of work, but I'm trying to do both base work as far as like aesthetics and also functionality because I am a technical builder. So I really would like to get a uh, farm going here for the pumpkin farm. So let me build this out, make it look right, and then um, then we'll move on, okay? How does that sound? One of the things we're going to need for sure is basically some quartz for the observers. So let's go and make another portal someplace um, I like the idea of it being out here like where I kind of go over to this area right here so I'm gonna put it um, right here make sure I'm in line with the three wide okay I want it to be right here okay and we're going to make it three wide like I said so here we go get rid of this grass Okay, so there is our nether portal. And like I said, we're just going out there just to get some quartz. We're not really worried about exploring or getting other things. So let's light it up. Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Let's go see where we are. Hopefully we're nothing scary. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. Well, we need a little bit of quartz. Um, I mean, even like six pieces would be good. Just enough to get some started with some observers, which take quartz and cobblestone and redstone. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time to load, probably because it's the first time generating it. Let's see where we are. And, and, I hear sounds. Loading terrain, there we go. Okay, I'm looking around here. Right there's some quartz. Now, I'm looking at, our, let's see, it looks like we have some islands here. Do we have any, like, another fortress or anything we can see? There's a bunch of stuff over this way. This looks like a little bit safer say that as I just about fall down <laughs> that would be bad okay um I don't see another fortresses but we do have a lot of quartz here and like I said we don't need a lot um I'm thinking uh each one of these things I'm gonna make for pumpkin and for the uh watermelon only take uh I think a total of three quarts each so that should be good for us for now um I don't see any glowstone that's readily available so we're gonna go back and we're gonna start to make up uh, some pieces here for this farm. What I need are three observers here. And, uh, wish I could take, make more of those. Three observers, and I need three pistons. Now, if I recall right, it's basically that. 
I haven't made a piston in forever, and it doesn't show up in my thing. Um, and of course it's not showing up because I don't have any iron. Now will it just show up? This book is pretty useful. Uh, I need three pistons. Okay. So there we have three observers and three pistons. And uh, I need to find my hoe. Do I still have the hoe? Um, there it is. And we need pumpkin seeds. Let's get some pumpkin seeds here. There we go. Okay, and probably some water, which I have. And have we gotten the sand yet or the glass yet? I'm cooking up a lot of smooth stone for some decorations. Let's just start up the sand so I have some glass here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to have here is you're going to have blocks that are going to be tilled. Okay. So I'm going to have... Um, I'm not sure which way it goes. I guess it really doesn't matter. But basically, you want to have an observer that's watching here. I always get these messed up. Nope, that's backwards. Okay. Go this way. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to have to have blocks there. Okay. What you want to do is you want to have an observer with the... See how that kind of points outward? We'll do that like this. Okay. And I want that to have that going into a block. Which it doesn't matter what the block is. Like that. Okay. We get rid of this here. Okay. And then you want a piece of redstone here. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to have pistons. And these pistons have to go... I need that. Don't, don't throw away my, my precious redstone. You want to have the pistons facing outward. Okay? Just like that. Excellent. So that'll be that'll work great. So basically when it sees something happen, it will fire the pistons next to it. And of course we can block all of this off um, with some cobblestone. And then we'll put some of the smooth stone on like, like a wall. And this is going to be a very, very easy little... Uh, farm. Okay, so let's go see if we can grab some more of that resources there. We got some of the glass. We, that means we can put in the water source, which is what I've been waiting for. So if I put this here, and if you notice, I can still get access to the chest, which is awesome. And now we're going to put the water, and the water will be flowing this way over there. So any of the pumpkins and things will go down into here. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to plant the pumpkin uh, stalks in front of the observers. Okay, and it should force the ones that are next to it to fire, just like that. So when they have any type of growth, the things will fire, and eventually when there is a pumpkin, it'll grow. Okay, so now all we have to do is just finish this up here, make it look better. Oops, don't want that there. And, uh, what's going on? Apparently they're outside. But anyway, we can make the, the walls look a little bit better. Um, and everything like that and put it in with glass and we should then be getting pumpkins. So let me just finish this up and we'll see how this is working. All right, guys, I've walled off this so that I don't get attacked. I have, my base is pretty much secured. I did build up here another one of these. This is the pumpkin farm. So over here on this side, I built up the watermelon farm. Now you're wondering why I put them apart. And that is because really because this takes an observer and a piston, it has to be a, a multiple of two. So you can see I've got six. And these things are five wide. So I, want, I went off onto the end where it won't matter. So this side, I put it on this side. And down here in the pumpkins, it went on this side. Now I'm hearing this thing fire as the growth is happening. I'm just waiting for it to grow. I didn't have torches in there at first. And I think that the light level wasn't quite a good enough for growing. But I am hearing it grow now. You can hear that piston right there. So something grew. You can see it grew over there. So it is growing. And it's doing what I think it's supposed to do. Uh, we just haven't had any anything yet pop out. Okay. But that's really all I've got time for today, guys, because I've been working really hard at this, trying to get this all decorated, harvesting wood and waiting for the stuff to uh, stone, smooth stone to get through the uh, furnaces. So it's been taking more time than uh, than I would like. So I think this is going to be it for today. I'm going to take a screenshot of this for the uh, thumbnail. There we go. And that is it for Extended Basic. That's the name of this episode. Basically, we've gone around and we've gotten all of the various types of trees so we can make any of the wood ties, which is really good. We also got pigs, so now we have chickens, pigs, cows, and sheep. And we started working on some more of the base, moving this over here, getting some more bookcases, pumpkin farm, and we have a little bit of a watermelon farm. Very basic stuff here, and we're going to continue to work on the base in the next episode. So anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for coming out. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. 
And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.